this is Bonnie, uh, scribe for Uncivilized Vitality, Genesee County chapter, and I'm here with another book review. This is Civilized to Death, The Price of Progress by Christopher Ryan. Um, this one's pretty controversial in the mainstream world, but um, if you're into, you know, um, the things that we are at UV here, um, a lot of this is not brand new thinking. So, um, he does a great job of really talking about how we've been sold this narrative that um, what we would call an uncivilized vitality pre-civilization, right? Um, or hunter-gatherer times. We, we've been sold this narrative that they were starving and struggling and unhappy and that our civilization um, is really um, a good thing and it's benefiting us, right? Um, but really what it's been doing is just making us sicker, weaker, more unhappy, um, things like that. And he really breaks that down a lot in this book and all the different ways that civilization has really affected us. He talks about um, what he calls this narrative of perpetual progress, um, which is you know kind of the over culture's narrative of um civilization and how we need to always continue progressing um and that that's the right thing to do but there's a lot of um points that he makes in here about how um hunter-gatherer cultures or he sometimes calls them forager cultures um they didn't want to progress they were happy with what they um where they were at and dr mori often teaches about native americans in our area tribes that you know um they were introduced the wheel and they chose not to um run with that because they were happy with where where they were and that's what they thought was the right way um so yeah it's an interesting read i enjoyed it um i'll be honest the beginning was a little slow for me um, but it got better and better. Um, I actually did the audiobook and then I got this from the library to kind of um, skim while I was listening. Um, but he, you know, in my opinion, does a really good job of breaking down the issues with civilization. And um, if it's, like I said, if it's new for you, I think this is a good um, book uh, to kind of get you started on that. Um, another book that would help you with that is Dr. Mori's um, Uncivilized Vitality, The Five Vital Paths, and he has two more volumes coming out that would definitely help with that as well. Um, you know, he um, does a good job in this book about um, really explaining what foragers and hunter-gatherer cultures looked like. Um, and he makes the claim that, like multiple people um, do, that agriculture, when agriculture was introduced, um, that's when we really started going downhill um, for multiple reasons. And um, there's different theories on, you know, why agricultural, agriculture started, um, but he talks about the Fertile Crescent in here and um, how, you know, looking back, maybe we shouldn't have embraced as much agriculture. Um, he does talk about, you know, the grief of like understanding all of this and um, how, you know, they, how foragers see the world spiritually and we don't. Um, and, you know, there's so much in here, but really, I, I guess what I'll say, what stuck with me, the areas that stuck with me, um, that are related to the beginning of life and the end of life. So I'm a postpartum doula. Um, I'm actually a full spectrum doula. I just focus on the postpartum time. So I'm obviously um, very into mom and baby wellness. And um, I have an aging parent, you know, and so I'm really in the end of life world as well in that way. And um, in this book, he did a great job of explaining um, how those times in life would have looked in um, hunter-gatherer times. 
and obviously he's not the first one to make these um, claims but they were very validating in my opinion that it really spoke to why we struggle with so um, much mental health issues and all sorts of things um, in my opinion a lot of that goes back to attachment and if you were securely attached or not you know um, when it comes to hunter-gatherer cultures you you were either securely attached to your caregiver your mother or you really didn't exist you didn't thrive and you didn't live um but now in our world where we have so many people that are alive and trying to navigate life that um don't have secure attachments um and that's no judgment like you know we're all struggling with that so um that was that section was really good for me and also just um how aging people in hunter gatherer um bands would have been treated and taken care of it's much different than how it is here in civilization so i'll just leave it at that but um i think it's a good one if this is a new concept to you um I, like i said i did the audiobook and um you know listen to it pretty quickly i know dr maury probably read it um and um you know there's lots of things that we have theories about that we don't know for sure but there's lots of things that we do know for sure and i do feel like this book covers those a big uh critique of this book is that like he doesn't offer a lot of great um solutions to the fact that we're too civilized um and you know i don't know that that's necessarily what this book is about but that is what uncivilized vitality is about we are attempting to um address you know the best case solution because we can't go back right that's why uncivilized um vitality's motto is looking back to move forward we can't go back to hunter gatherer times there's too many people on this planet for that um among other issues but we can look back and gain some insight and some skills about how to live our life now and try to not be too civilized um and you know if you come to a meeting or listen to dr maury speak at all about what this program is about you know he talks about becoming more adaptable and durable and capable um and how those were skills that hunter gatherers had um that we really struggle with in this modern life and i will say personally the short time that i have been um in this program um the increase in my durability adaptability and capability has greatly affected all aspects of my life not just when i'm out in the woods with um uv on a campaign right um but i do feel like if that's your critique of the book that there's no solution come see us um, in person in Genesee County. Uh, you can zoom in if you're not in Genesee County for our chapter meetings. Um, and um, the YouTube channel is great for all sorts of information like this. So, all right, I hope you liked it. Check this book out and um, let us know what you think about it. Thanks.